Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City, where we want to help you build a LEGO city regardless of the space you have. In this video, I'll be doing a review of the brand new 2019 Fairground Carousel, set 31095. This is a 3-in-1 creator set and what you see in front of you is the largest build that you can build from the set. The other two possibilities are a ferris wheel like ride and the other is a death drop type ride with a rocket themed and it also comes with a game store as well as an ice cream stand. But today we'll be focusing on this particular build because it is the biggest and it uses all the parts in the set. This is a sister set to the pirate coaster that was released last year. I've mentioned my thoughts on that particular set. I do find it a bit lacking. It feels a bit sparse. Although, that was when I was looking at the coaster set. There's also a Viking type ride where the capsule goes up and down in a U shape. So I might consider actually getting that set for that particular build. But let's focus on the set. You get the main fairground carousel, also known as the UFO, and you get several small builds. Let's first have a look at the main ride first. Overall, I think this attraction is really well designed. I like the footprint. It's small enough to fit into a small Lego city and you can fit this into any theme park or amusement park. But more on that later. First, I'd like to highlight the individual capsules for this ride. I like them because they're all distinct but highly recognizable. There's a rocket and the back can actually spin like that. And over here, we have a highly recognizable space shuttle an alien spacecraft over here with an alien and finally everyone's favorite space animal a space cow and this is a fairground carousel though it's not your typical carousel it's the swinger type variety and it's a more updated version of the standard carousel and i see these in a lot of amusement parks it's named the ufo and you can tell that by the ufo sign on top as well as this flying saucer with an alien inside. I really like this detail. Overall, due to all the individual capsules and the sign and the flying saucer, it really makes this build full of character and I can imagine minifigs wanting to ride on it. Here we have all the gears and connectors built inside here because there's a crankshaft and if you turn the crankshaft, you can actually spin the entire unit. And if you go quite fast, you can actually spin the capsules out quite far out. Overall, very cool. And here we have a control panel where you can put a minifig. Overall, I give this set a thumbs up, even if I don't count in the smaller builds that are included as well. There's really not much to be enthusiastic about the small builds that come with this set. You get basically what you see in front of you this is really standard fare a bench and a trash can but uh, every lego city can have more of these this is an ice cream cart but honestly i think this is such a basic and almost boring design looks a bit too toy a bit too simple i don't recommend you use this unless you have nothing else to use for example the ice cream cart that comes with the Fun Affair People Pack Set, that is superior in so many ways. We do have a ticket stand over here. This is very basic as well. Really, it is as basic as you can go. It's good that you get two of these printed ticket towels, which is nice. But other than that, you probably want to remock or rebuild the stand just so that it's a bit more impressive. You do get this kind of metallic silver flower pot. And I guess I'll give LEGO credit for this. They provide this. This, I believe, must be a timeout zone for kids when they are naughty. And I assume every amusement park will need one of these. So that's pretty good that LEGO included it. Earlier, I spoke about how this set can be easily incorporated into any theme park or amusement park that you might be building. If you've got any of the expert level fairground sets, that would fit, although I think this fits better with the smaller sets such as the pirate coaster mentioned earlier. I've placed everything on a green base plate so that it's easier to move around, but also for, so that you get an idea of how it might look like. And I've just put all the items on. We've got the UFO, the bench over here. This obviously really isn't a kid's timeout zone. It's really a safety barrier for the kids. That's the ice cream stand and the ticket stand. So I'm just putting this here temporary and I'll put this at this side over here because I thought of doing something interesting and that is to try to put together what 
may look like a theme park layout with another base plate that comes from my Lego city. This comes from my brick beach and it's actually part of a market fair scene and there's a carousel and there are market stalls. Uh, the base plate or this whole park is actually bigger but I'm just taking one base plate for an example in this video. And the great thing is that carousel actually to me, me measures up to this particular UFO. Now it is another carousel but this is more of the kitty version. So this can be for the uh, bigger thrill seekers. So you can see the symmetry in the size, even in the colors to a certain extent. You can see the studs, the colored studs, the mirrors, all that I think gives some symmetry to this build. Finally, to add to this theme park, I'm going to take the builds and the minifigs from the Funfair People Pack set. I reviewed the set in a previous video. You can check out the link in the card above or the description below. So the first thing I would do is to take out this ice cream cart, as I mentioned, because this one looks much better. So what I'm going to do is just spend maybe two minutes to take out all the different minifigs and small builds and kind of arrange them onto these base plates. And let's see if we can get a decent funfair scene going on. So here we have a very simple layout. I basically just plop things on, uh, but just to give you an idea of how you can combine all these sets together to create a nice uh, small theme park or amusement park. And really this is just two 32 studs by 32 studs base plates. You'd probably have a bigger space or theme park, but you can see I packed quite a bit inside, maybe a bit unrealistic then. That's because I didn't really uh, touch the back over there. I've got some tiling done, but if I were to really spend a bit of time just uh, spacing this out and putting things together, this looks like just a fun old time theme park or amusement park. I did take out the ticket stand and the ice cream cart that came with the UFO set. So, there wasn't space in this case for it, uh, but this is just a quick example to show how these sets come together to create a really lively scene for your custom LEGO city. I hope you enjoyed this review of the fairground carousel and how you can integrate it into a LEGO city amusement park. So what do you think of this set? Will you get it for your LEGO city? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Check out these two videos before you go.